Bitcoin tornado warning. Bitcoin has just entered phase two. Take a look. Phase two was rejected by this level. Exactly the same as our phase two in 2012. Exactly the same as our phase two in 2016. And exactly the same as the phase two in 2020. But what is about to happen next is going to cause a tornado warning. It's time to buckle up. I'm about to drop a huge trade alert. The last time I dropped a trade alert was Coinbase at $50. Coinbase soared from $50 all the way to $150. Also, everyone's been begging me for altcoins. So I'm about to drop a top five altcoin bonus video. Both of these videos are gonna be available only on our FFA, our Financial Freedom Academy. Go sign up now. You can cancel anytime and get these two huge bonus videos tomorrow. Go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Again, that's CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Limited seats only. Now, we are here on the weekly chart, Bitcoin US dollar index. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. But we are in phase two. We are 56 days into phase two. We generally hang out in phase two between 100 and 200 days. I'm going to break it down in a future video of precisely the moves of phase two. So make sure you hit the subscribe button for that. However, in phase two, what we told you two weeks ago was to watch this exact level. Why did we have you watch this exact level in the RSI on the weekly chart? Well, every single time in phase two, we come up to this level in every single time we've been rejected. So what did we tell you to do la uh, two weeks ago? Watch out for a rejection. What's happened in the last two weeks on this chart? We had a rejection from precisely that level that we were watching. Now, this is all market structure, okay? This is not a crystal ball. We don't have a crystal ball. We're not from the future, but I love the charts. I love everything about them, and we have to respect the facts because the facts are saying a tornado warning is right around the corner. Let's break it down. So above we have price action, right? We have two moving averages. This is the golden cross death cross on the weekly. By the way, we are very, very close to having a weekly golden cross, something that Bitcoin has quite literally never done in its history. More on that in a moment. But in the middle of our screen is the star of the show, the RSI on a weekly chart. What we have is this yellow line, which is hanging out at about 84. That's the precise level we asked you to watch two weeks ago. Now, what we've noticed about this level is every single cycle in Bitcoin operates precisely in the same movements. Why, you may ask, human emotion. Human, human emotion does not change. Human emotion repeats itself. That's why the charts repeat these patterns because humans are incredibly emotional when it comes to money and oftentimes make irrational decisions. Now, when you look at phase two back in 2012, now, if you wanna get a visual representation of what is phase one, what is phase, phase two, here we are, right? What we have is the bottom of the market. Once we finished the bottom of the market, we were met with some resistance as we tried to get through it. We build phase one of the bull right on top of our prior resistance. And phase two is built directly on top of phase one resistance. Think of it like walking up the stairs. Each stair is built on the stair below it, using the structure of the stair below it to build the structure of that stair on top holding you firm, right? Now, the same thing repeats itself in every cycle. Look at the 2016 cycle. We had the bottom of the market here. Phase one of the bull builds support directly on top of where our resistance was. So we build support here. We build phase one. Phase one is met with heavy resistance here. That's why phase two is built directly on top of that confirming support just like the stairs. Now that we have a visual representation, we'll go back to phase two. Now, phase two of 2012 is right here, right? This is the bottom of the market. Phase one lasts usually about 150, 200 days. Phase two usually lasts between 100 and 200 days. And phase two shot up to precisely this level 84 in the RSI and then was met with heavy resistance and then went on to collapse. 
We collapsed the RSI from that 84 level all the way down to here, a 54. Why is that important? Because we did the exact same thing in 2016. We went right up to this level, 84, in the RSI on the weekly, and we plummeted into the low 50s. We did the exact same move. Why is this important? Because each of these phase two went down to test its market structure. A visual representation might be better. Take your phone, tilt it to the side, hit that subscribe button. So phase one is here, phase two is here. Phase two rallied up to this top resistance point and then came down to test its market structure and to confirm its support. This is a power play, but it's an incredible buying opportunity, right? You have this resistance here and you have the support here, which should be our prior resistance turning in to support. The market needs to confirm that support. Case in point, the buying opportunity right? Same one in 2016, right? We came all the way up to this top level of resistance. We crashed all the way back down to confirm our market structure support directly on top of where it used to be resistance, okay? So now that you have that visual representation, you can really see it. You can see it playing out in front of your eyes. It's the same thing every cycle. Now, we look at it. We got some resistance here. We crashed down to here in the RSI, which is where we tested our market structure and confirmed our support. And that was an incredible buying opportunity. And then we proceeded to go sideways. Now keep in mind, we're 56 days into phase two of the bull. Luckily for you, if you didn't follow our channel, we told you precisely when we entered phase one. It was back in February of this year. Roll the clip. We are either just about to start our bull run or we may have just started our bull run. So you see, we told you when we entered phase one of the bull, we also told you exactly when we entered phase two of the bull. It's a chart that we've been using for quite a while. It's right here on the Traders Dynamic Index. The Traders Dynamic Index went above this orange line back in October. We told you back in October that it's highly probable we just entered phase two. We were waiting for a confirmation here. Now, it's not up for debate. We're in phase two of the bull. I know a lot of people wanna say the bull run just started. That's completely untrue. Do not drink that herd juice. Do not drink it. That's complete herd juice. We moved into the bull market back in February. You saw the clip earlier. We literally said the bull run has just started or it was just about to start. We found the evidence in the charts. Now that we're on the same page, we understand phase one, we understand phase two, we understand the market structure, we, we are visualizing the stairs building on top of each other. What I want you to notice is how this plays out, and then I need to show you what happened in 2020, because that was an anomaly, and there was a lot of confluence in the market that clearly are stating that what happened in this market cycle was completely unlike any other cycle. I'll explain why in a moment, but we did the same exact thing. We got rejected at that RSI level of 84 in phase two of the bull. This is all the same. Now, here's what I want you to notice. As we build into this 2016, we got rejected. We came down, test our market structure. We came down into this 50 area and you saw what happened after that. So when we dig into this one, right? 2020, we came up to this 84 level. We were rejected, just like we were in every single level. The issue is this cycle, we'll take a visual, a visual representation. This cycle did not have phase one, phase two. Phase one and phase two were literally combined into one. And what we had is a big problem with our market structure, right? Case in point. What happens every time we test our market structure? We had the bottom of the market here, we had the top of the market here, heavy resistance here. We came all the way back down to test our market structure here, right? It took us a long time. It took us a lot longer than normal. Normally we're in here 100, 200 days, but it took us literally how many days to test our market structure? 300. So we were behind schedule. Why were we behind schedule? Because two phases were put into one because this was a very unorthodox part of our cycle. This was a more or less an A 
B, C correction leading to our double bottom. The problem in this market is we didn't have a double bottom. The issue is every single time that Bitcoin has been alive, we've had a double bottom in every single bottom of the market. So it took us an extra couple hundred days to recover and make a double bottom and then recover from that bottom moving into the next phase of the bull. So this whole process was about 500 days, a couple hundred days longer than it should have been. Now, what we did is we just moved phase one and two into the same phase. Okay, so instead of having our stair steps, we had one big stair, which was built in a really unorthodox way. So we needed to course correct this unorthodox stair. Okay, now it's leading us into our current cycle. We had the bottom of the market here. We had our first bottom here, our second bottom here. We had incredibly strong resistance here. So phase one of the bull is built directly on top of this heavy, heavy resistance. This resistance turns into our support. Our support then held us here and we started to get resistance from this level which by the way is now our support zone our support zone is right around this 30 31k area that's what we're looking at right now obviously we can see in the candles this is a very large wick you don't want to see that right this is a lot of profit taking here probably all of the humans that watch my video and i said this would be a pretty wise place to take profits right at this 84 level. Why? Because we were rejected from here every single time. If you happen to be new to our channel and this is the first video you're watching, you better subscribe right now. You don't want to miss these huge moves. What we cover on this channel are literally the biggest moves in these high time frames. It's where you're going to either make all of your money or lose all of your money. You should not hang out on the one hour or the five minute or the one day. This is where you're going to make or lose all of your money. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But here we are, right? We got some rejection and what we're seeing happening in the charts is we're looking at this white line. This white line is at about 75. We built a little bit of market structure here and a lot in the past. And we're looking to hopefully hold this as support and try to battle back towards that yellow line. The issue is what will happen next? If we're going to drop into the 50s area, we're going to try to hold support at this white line. Before we even get here, this white line, our previous structure here, which is at about 70, is going to try to hold us up because we have evidence here back in April. We also have evidence here back in 2021. We also have evidence here back in 2020. So this is a very strategic level. Look for us to potentially hold this or worst case scenario, fall back into the 50s, which we did in 2012 and 2016, precisely following that 84 rejection. So it's going to be a tornado warning, right? This is a potential opportunity for Bitcoin to come back and surprise everybody and potentially come back and confirm our support. I'm going to make one bold claim, okay? This is very critical. What happens with structure in charts is they're always confirmed. It's just a matter of when. Meaning at some point, Bitcoin has to come back to this 30, 31, 32-ish area and confirm as structure. Sometimes it takes a while. Case in point here, right? This was an unorthodox phase, as I mentioned. We had heavy resistance here, as I mentioned. These levels that were heavy resistance for several hundred days, they have to confirm as support. Case in point, it took a while. We had a market cycle top, we had a double top, then we plummeted. If you follow our channel, we called a mega crash at 48K. We plummeted all the way back down to here. Why? We needed to confirm our support here. Okay, this was our resistance. We confirmed it with support several, several, several hundred days later. But the markets always confirm. We should have had this stair step method, but this was so unorthodox, it took us many hundreds of days later to confirm it. We confirmed our previous resistance as support here. That's precisely what we did. So with that said, we're going to come down at some point to 30, 31, 32. It's likely that it's going to happen in the next 100-ish days. But if it doesn't, it's going to happen at some point in the future. It's almost a guarantee. 
If you watch the charts and study the charts, we have to come back and confirm this area. We have a lot of confluence here and we had a lot of resistance here and the market needs to confirm as support, whether it's in the next couple months or one or two years from now, it's going to come back to this level and confirm. The market has to do this to move forward. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you right back here in the next video. Everybody has been loving the tips I'm giving at the end of the videos. A lot of tips on financial freedom, a lot of tips on health, a lot of tips on protecting your wealth. If you like those tips, our FFA is that on steroids. The FFA is easily a thousand times better than those tips at the end of the video, and you get a roadmap to financial freedom with seven simple steps to follow. All of the content is there to help you. And by the way, right now, you're gonna get two huge bonus videos when you sign up. The only problem, there's limited seats available. Go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com and enjoy.